Capcom Battle video, and today we're going to go and take a look at our boy Tech Hits in the Legendary Vegeta event. Um, so, Universe 6 as a category team is very powerful. Um, it had two Dokkan Fest leaders, both of whom sucked about a week ago, in STR Kefla and then Tech Hits. Um, STR Kefla is just not really good anywhere. Long events, short events, she's not really that impressive. Um, but... Tech hit, on the other hand, now after his EZA, he's a legit option. So now the Universe 6 team has got a good leader in Tech Hit. The friend Tech Hit is also full level 10 links, so we can take a look at how um, our boy Tech Hit performs here in the Legendary Vegeta event. Uh, terrible. Oh my god, of course they're both in the same rotation. Um, but we're going to see how our boy Tech Hit performs here in the Legendary Vegeta event, and you know, we're going to be able to sort of build up with all of the Kale and Khalifa units, right? Because that's the thing, Universe 6, right, is really designed around all of the girls. Um, the the two Kabe, well, I guess the three Kabe units are pretty good. Int Kabe, STR Kabe, and then uh, the Tech Kabe are all pretty solid. Um, I, I think you could use a lot of them in various content. Well, I, I would say that this type of run really does highlight the mistake they made with Int Kabe, though, of uh, him only stacking defense if a Vegeta is on the team. Because what it does is it makes Int Kabe not a great option. Like, on the Universe 6 team, Kabe is not a, a good option, really. Right? Because he's not stacking his defense. Unless Vegeta is there. Vegeta obviously is not on Universe 6. So that's an issue, right? It, Kabe is meant to be designed basically just on, like, the Universal Survival Saga team. I mean, you could use him in some spot locations, but it's like the defensive stacking is where he could start to get good and you know for long events he could really help out um they i think they really messed up by making it to where he could only stack with vegeta on the team um that does hurt him right okay so here we got the hits uh, these are the two new easy units for universe six um i really don't probably isn't the best idea to put hit in slot one so i'm actually i'm not going to do that um, cause hit gets, dude, so much defense on super attack. He's getting 160% defense on super, and then he gets a 30% defensive increase on his super attack effect. So, I mean, hit, honestly, throughout this entire event, uh, normal attacks will not do damage to hit in any stage of this event. The only time hit is going to actually be taking damage, um, is if, uh, super attack connects on him. That's it. So, you know, that right there um, should show that, that that's enough for our boy Hit, right? Uh, he has type disadvantage on this Int Vegeta right here. We didn't get to see him, but of course, opening rotations were bad. Not really too much I could do about that. Um, but there is another Int phase later on in the event. Um, uh, the God Vegeta is also an Int type unit. So we'll be able to see how Hit will be able to perform against God Vegeta. But I fully expect Hit will be able to super attack, right? And then he's going to take double digit damage from God Vegeta's normals. Now there's a couple of ways to build and use Tech Hit, right? Remember Tech Hit does have this ability. He gets an extra 20% attack and defense for each universe six category ally attacking in the same turn. I think the main reason they gave him this ability is to make him more relevant as the universe six leader. Cause he doesn't really link up the greatest with the girls, right? He does have a uh, turn of power, Wars of Universe 6, and Fierce Battle. So those are good stats and stuff like that. But like the main link, I feel like one of the most important links for hit is Cold Judgment, which gives 25% defense. I've found Tech Hit to be a completely different beast when he has Cold Judgment active, right? Um, I'm gonna, I wanna actually push Kefla off rotation right here, so we'll do this. This will be perfect right here. Okay, let me see what, so, so hit, right? Linking up with all these girls. Again, Fierce Battle, Turn of Power, Warriors of Universe 6. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and then our boy Hit should, uh, be looking pretty good again, like going through here. I think his damage numbers will be good, considering we're running no support on this team. Right, because our, our entire team is like stacking except for the two hit leaders. But they, they built hit and so like, see look at that. 5.2 million no that's no support. Right? Like they they I, I, I really like his design. That ability is to help the, the extra attack and defense for universe six. 
that's to make him like relevant as the universe six leader um i think that hit is fine like off of universe six uh without you know any of the, the extra universe six units giving him the buffs but like you know he he just looks really good basically across the entire game he's very strong because remember that hit is um getting 160 percent attack on super attack so what that means is support type buffs really give him um, a huge extra buff. And like, you know, throughout this run, it looks like we're going to be seeing Hit dropping about 5 million attack stats. And he's not even going to be like, uh, he like he's dropping 5 million attack stats and he's not even getting support. Like Hit is just going to be looking, I think, really good going through here. Um, the only thing that's going to be a bit of an issue is that Hit is basically, like, we have to use him in slot two or three. So, if I keep one of the hits on rotation, that will lead us to a tricky spot where we're going to have two hits on the same rotation. And, you know, that means one of them is not going to be getting links. Uh, you know, even a couple, like, Turn Up Power and Warriors Universe 6 does give, what, about 13% defense? So, I mean, that's, you know, definitely something to be able to work with there. Um... Okay, so this is good. This is a turn where I could actually put Tech Hit in slot 1, right? Perfect. Um, because of the fact that uh, Vegeta's not attacking before he is. So now we could, we could sort of put uh, Hit in kind of like the, the anchor spot right here, and he's going to perform very fine. Now remember, if the enemy can be debuffed at all, Hit is applying all these debuffs, the attack debuff, the stun chance. You know, those are going to be pretty good um, if you're capable of getting them off. Oh, the... Do Wait, dodge... Did we just three dodge a super attack? <laughs> it's just comical. It's it's really comical. Every run, man. I am like positive that we did. We just three dodge a super attack. That's it right there. Boom. Easy. GG. That's why you run three dodge right there. Cause you know we just save ourselves just a truckload of health. Like, thanks. I, I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, how sweet, man. The three do the fact that the three dodge always comes through in these videos, too. I just, I love, I love it so much. I'm ecstatic, man. I, I truly am. <laughs> oh, the three dodge. Here, let, let me, let me confirm that that was three dodge. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Because <laughs> Hit doesn't get any dodge, right? Um, he does have that chance to stun if all allies universe 6. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, fuse with Tech Kefla. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the Keflas transformed. Uh, boy, yeah, here we go. Here's here's the issue with these Keflas, man. If you're not able to get the six orbs for the two of them, they're not going to look as impressive as they could be. Maybe I should have kept going for a little bit longer and let uh, Tech Khalifa stack up, but I don't know. It's not going to be the biggest deal ever. Yeah, 4.29. Uh, I just... Because, like, we can't get... We don't get this attack stat. This was... Was this turn six or seven? I don't know, man. That's... I do wish her damage was a little bit better. Oh, no, dude. Are you kidding me? This is pretty bad. Tech hit would take huge damage. I... Wow, this sucks. Like, the way this played out. Man. I guess we'll see the friend tech hit defend in that last slot right there maybe let's put mine in the last slot because mine does have better defense i guess i have to do this yeah we're gonna go ahead and go with this do have to make sure that hit gets his super attacks in um but you know here's the int phase of course this phase is the phase where we get you know both hits on rotation and stuff like that Ay, yeah 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 uh and again remember you can't 
you can't run hit in slot one and let him take hits. I mean, 80k defense, you're dead. You're just you're just DOA. Um, but you know, after he super attacks, he's rocking you know 250k plus defense. It's a huge, huge step up. So let's go ahead and see um, uh, if a uh, hit should be able to tank double digits uh, even without any links. So so this is a turn. This is hit with zero links and zero support. He does have a full rotation of universe six allies. But again, this is zero links and zero support. So let's see what our boy hit is able to do on th on this rotation. At 5.2 million attacks that I, I will definitely take, man. Just again, very free and easy for tech hit to put up uh, big time damage numbers a lot of the time. All right, so there's this one, 3.91. That's without any links. Wow, that's a, that's a huge difference. Uh, no links right there, because the only difference between them is just no links, right? Um, all right, and let's go ahead and see what we get right here. Oh, another super attack. Oh, wow. All right, so he gets double defensive increases from the double super attack. Remember that, right? Every super attack effect, he's getting 30% defense. So, I mean, this is a free double digits right there. That's, yeah, it's not even close. Uh, like, hit. <laughs> yeah, okay, pretty good. Yeah, Tech Hit is looking strong, man. This guy is uh, definitely not bad. He is very, I think Tech Hit is very, very good. All right, now we're going up against the blue Vegeta phase. Uh, this actually is going to work well. We will be able to put physical Kefla in slot one. She'll be able to perform well here. And again, this is, you know, that old familiar issue, though, where these damn Keflas... All right, we're able to get six orbs for the tech Kefla. That's good. That's good. That, so she'll be able to do better damage. Um, we'll still be able to get those same three links for tech hit. Turn on Power Warriors, Runner 6, and Fierce Battle. All right, let's go ahead and see how we do here. Uh, this is the one good thing about long, long events with these two together, Physical Kefla and Tech Kefla. At the very least, it's going to be very difficult for them to take damage. Um, they're going to be able to tank really, really well because Physical Kefla is stacking. And then Tech Kefla, you could stack her um, up until she uh, uh, transforms, right? Uh, and then when she transforms, uh, you know, she stops stacking defense, but then her damage shoots way up. Yeah, see, that's good. I, I, that, I'm liking that. I mean, I think this is, yeah, that's seven out of seven links active for her, actually, because she has six out of seven with uh, physical Kefla, and she's getting fierce battle from Tech Hit. So that was seven out of seven links, no support, seven million right there. And then there's Hit with his consistent five, which I really, really like. Um, all right, so yeah, Hit, man. <laughs> Hit looking pretty good. Double digits easily. Yep, yep. I'd like to see how much damage hit would take from a super attack. I feel like it wouldn't even be that bad. Um, I wonder if Evolution Blue Vegeta would kill hit on a super attack. I think he would, but it might be close. Because, uh, again, Evolution Blue Vegeta, he's just different when he drops that final flash and just destroys your defense. But we'll, we'll see in a turn or two here. All right, so now we're going up against Evolution Blue Vegeta, who, of course, uh, can be a nightmare here. Um, I didn't do a good enough job of stacking up with Tech Khalifa, so this could be bad if Vegeta super attacks. Ideally, I would like to see how Hit is going to fare here um, from a super attack from Vegeta. Remember, don't just think like, oh, Hit is... He's Tech, so he's so good. Okay, super attacking right away. Um, I think we should be okay. Because remember... It, it, it like raw defense gets destroyed by this Vegeta, right? It, it's stacked defense is what can protect you against his final flash. So tech hit will tank fine against normal attacks, but I would like to see what would happen if he would get supered here. It probably would be a lot of damage. Um, Cause like, again, I, I don't know. I think hit probably ends up having a little bit more defense than LR tech Jiren. Um, but I found that LR Tech Jiren gets demolished in here if he gets super attacked by Vegeta. So I, I think that probably would happen um, if Tech Hit got super attacked as well. I think it would probably just neutralize uh, his defense and like that that would be that, right? Uh, we could probably get one more turn. I think I'm going to toss the other Tech Hit just in the first slot of rotation. And just really try and hope to see what would happen if he gets super attacked. Um, and then we'll finish up, right? But, I mean, Hit, as you guys can see, he could perform well even in these long events. Easily taking double-digit damage from Evolution Blue Vegeta here at the end, right? Um, but, again, th this Vegeta 
what is so disgusting about him is when he super attacks. Uh, so I don't know. Let, I mean, let me know what you guys think of our boy Tech Hit. But, you know, even as the leader for the Universe 6 team, he's just looking super good right now. Um, you know, he, he does share a couple of links with all the girls. That gives him a little bit of extra defense. But Hit does perform, I think, ultra well as the Universe 6 leader. So let me know what you guys think of Tech Hits and his EZA. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.